hi guys so this is the start of a new weekly vlog and um, it's monday the 14th of august um i have already like started a little one last week but last week was the busiest week of my entire life like honestly work was crazy it was a really good week but it was absolutely mental I'm just looking at my jack of potato because i've got it in the microwave because when you get back at like quarter seven you cannot cook a jack of potato in the oven because it takes like an hour um it takes like 10 minutes in the microwave little tip there if you live by yourself not if you live by yourself if you just want to cook a quick meal um anyway it's the start of a new weekly vlog i did kind of start one last week but as i say it was just mentally busy and you probably haven't seen me for ages um so hi <laughs> This is so rambly. I don't like starting a vlog when I look like, when I don't have any makeup on and then I'm in my pyjamas. And that is what is about to happen in like five minutes. Um, so I wanted to start it now and say hi. My hair has been down, but um, it is now up. Um, I just got home. Well, no, it's caught, it's caught up past seven now. I got my home about quarter to two. And I'm just cooking my like a potato, but I will see you in a bit. Sorry for the rambly intro. <laughs> I thought everything had gone through, but there seems to have been something lost in um, translation. There's been like a hitch to speed the boundaries, so it's going to go. So I'm just about to have a bath. And I'm going to use this. So this is what it looks like. It's the Moa Fortifying Green Bath Potion with Peppermint and Fennel. And um, the reason why I'm using this, I've had it for ages and I've never really used it. Um, the reason why I'm using it is because on the back of the packaging, it says that it's really good for like a, at the end of like a really long day. And I'm like really tired at the moment. Um, like this just, this past weekend's been like so busy and stuff. I'm just so sleepy. Um, so it says it's really nice and like relaxing and stuff. So I'm going to try some of this. Um, there's three capfuls you do and I've also put some bath salts in there um, it's kind of annoying because it's not going to be bubbly um, like it's not going to be a bubble bath but I kind of don't want to mix this with like a lush bath bomb I don't have any plain bubble bath that's probably something I need to get but anyway I'm going to try it in a premiere in and you're probably thinking why and also um earlier i showed like the little um clips of me on the train and stuff um and whatever i'm actually in manchester um for work um tomorrow i've got a day of training um excel training how fun um but the um but Boohoo's head office is actually in Manchester and I work in the press office which is in London um, but yeah the head office is actually in Manchester um, so I'm back in Manchester which is really lovely because um, obviously as you guys know I've lived here for three years and um, it's like my second home I came back on Friday because um, we had a work party um, which was super cool like it was so good uh, we had a work party which is on my Instagram oh I'm tired that was on my instagram stories and on my snapchat um i put on like some clips of the party and stuff it was literally so so good why does this top always do this um anyway yeah it was so good it was amazing so i was up on friday um and now i'm up again i'm only up for one day um but we have to be in at nine tomorrow and um obviously from london it takes like two hours on the train and i was not getting the train at half past six um so yeah i'm currently in a hotel for the night um i got the train at 20 past five i don't finish work till six normally um but they just said like to get the train earlier um so i got the train at 20 past five and i just met my friend chris for dinner who who is one of my very long long friends long friends long childhood friends i don't really know what that means i don't really know what i'm trying to say long friends i don't know what i'm trying to say anyway um i met him who has been one of my best friends since i was like 13 um and he goes to mmu and he's on his placement in manchester um at mmu um so yeah i met him which was so lovely it was really nice to catch up i hadn't seen him in so long um and yeah we've just been such good friends since we were really young so yeah it was lovely to catch up with him we went to almost famous which as you guys know it's like my favorite place well you probably don't know actually because i haven't spoken about it so long um but honestly it's like the best burger place ever it's in like it's northern place like there's one in leeds 
Liverpool. I think it's one in Leeds. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's definitely one in Liverpool and there's one in Manchester. But honestly, it's amazing. They do bacon, bacon fries, and they're like fries with bacon aids, which is bacon mayonnaise, um, bacon rain, which is like small bits of bacon, and they do and it's like sweet potato and normal chips. Oh my god, literally. They are life. Anyway, and then I had a burger as well. Honestly, it was amazing. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I literally just keep yawning. I'm thinking I'm going to sleep now. It's half past ten. However, because I um, where this premiere in is, I'm literally over the road from Boohoo Head Office, which means I can literally roll out of bed. Well, I can't roll out of bed. I'm not that kind of person. I always get ready like, properly. But I can wake up like an hour later than I normally do, which is so nice. Like when I came to Manchester um, a while ago, my back's really itchy. When I came to Manchester a while ago for work, um, it was on like, my second week that I was working here so back in like June I came here um, and literally it was so nice being able to lay in and stuff um, like in comparison to normal I woke up like an hour later so I'm quite looking forward to that tomorrow um, but yeah I'm going to get um, but yeah I'm going to get to sleep now and I will speak to you tomorrow I would have thought probably maybe in the morning or when I get back home um, tomorrow evening but yeah I'm kind of I get really sad when I'm not in my flat like obviously I'm happy to be here and I really enjoyed going out with Chris um, for the evening it was just really lovely and you know it's nice being in Manchester definitely but when I don't know I just get really sad that like my flat's by itself I don't know I just miss it so much and I just love my little flat so much so yeah it's sad not to be in it but I get to you back tomorrow night anyway I'm gonna go sleep now and I'll speak to you in the morning morning guys i have been ready for quite a while as i said last night it's so nice to wake up at like half seven um it's just so so nice to have an extra hour of sleep um so anyway i feel quite refreshed i'm about to leave as i said boohoo is literally opposite the hotel and they have like um a restaurant cafe type thing in there um so i'm gonna go and get some breakfast in there um and then go to my training so i guess i'll speak to you guys later on kind of like curled my hair i'll show you my outfit this top is from nasty girl this is what I'm wearing. I love this stuff. It's so cool. There's loads of like ruffly, not ruffles, but what is even this? I don't know. Pleats, flyy things. I just really, really like this top. Um, and then I've got black jeans on and I've got these little shoes on. I've also got some flats in my suitcase because the Boohoo Head Office has quite a lot of stairs. <laughs> um, just in case I want to change. But um, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I've curled the ends of my hair because I had ages to get ready. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to leave now, turn off all the lights and yeah, nice day in my premiere in. Had a really nice sleep and I will speak to you later. Hi guys, so this is the first time I've actually spoken to you today, I think. I am so sleepy, it's nearly bedtime, it's like 5 to 10, I'm in bed. Um, I keep, obviously because I haven't vlogged for so long, um, I'm trying to get back into it. Um, and so in the evenings I just kind of forgot to, to pick up my camera, but I've had a really nice chilled evening tonight. I got back and I had chicken Kiev and some mash for dinner. I've been having really easy meals this week because um, I normally cook like proper, proper meals for myself like every single night um but i just had a chicken kev out the freezer because i was in manchester for like one and a, well, like one and a half days as you guys saw and then this weekend bradley's come in so instead of doing like a food shop midweek um i'm gonna do a food shop to get delivered tomorrow evening like when i get back from work um and then bradley's coming tomorrow evening and then he's staying for the weekend so then we'll, i'll have like food for when he's here and then i'll also have food for like next week and stuff as well so um that's the plan but um my dinner was actually really nice I had some gravy as well and it was like really just like nice cozy food um, and then I was watching Suits because um, Suits is back on now and it's now on Netflix. It comes on like like week by week on, on Netflix and all of the uh, seasons are now on Netflix, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, loving that. I'm so excited it's Friday tomorrow. I'm really excited to see Bradley. I feel like I haven't seen him in ages. Like I saw him last weekend. Um, and the weekend before that, but just not a full weekend, do you know what I mean? Um, so we're really excited to have a full weekend together and like do loads of like nice stuff. And we're going to go exploring a little bit and do some things in London because we haven't done that in a few weekends, um, really. Um, because things have just been like going on at home and mum got married and all that kind of stuff. So um, I feel like maybe tomorrow night I'll sit and like actually sit and chat to you guys for quite a while. Because I said like, I've started this vlog <laughs> and like literally haven't updated you on anything. I know I did like an update video, but I haven't spoken about anything in the slightest um so maybe i'll chat to you tomorrow evening when i get back from work today was really really good at work i just absolutely love my job i really do my team are so lovely and yeah i just love it um i go to, like i never feel like i do i 
want to go to work like obviously everybody gets tired and no one like wants to wake up in the morning really everyone would prefer a lion um but as soon as i'm up and awake like i want to go to work and i enjoy being there uh, which is obviously really really good So this is my breakfast this morning. I have got banana and egg pancakes and like um, frozen berries, which I just put in the microwave and heat up. So then they go all like juicy and like I have a juice with it. I normally have a bit of golden syrup, but I run out. So um, yeah, this is my breakfast. I'm a bit extra when it comes to breakfast. I never just have toast. I always have something that's gonna fill me up, but this is really good for me. So yeah, this is what I'm having. Um, but yeah, basically all you do is get a banana, mash it in a bowl and then crack two eggs in, mix it together. That's your mixture, you just pour that in and make pancakes as usual and then I just put the berries in the microwave. So that's literally it, but I've got my breakfast and I'm gonna sit and eat. Hi guys, so I got back from work uh, maybe like half an hour ago and I'm getting Chinese for dinner. Um, Bradley is coming this evening, but because he works full time too and he works up in um, Derby slash Nottingham, um, it takes him quite a while to get here and he's going via home as well. He's picking some bits up for him and for me as well from like our hometown, cause like on the way. Um, but yeah, so he is coming here, but he's not gonna get here till late. Um, I got home from work, one of my colleagues was like, I'm gonna have takeaway tonight. And I was like, what a great idea. And I live like next door to a Chinese and I've never gone there before. Um, I don't know, I've just never, I haven't had Chinese since I've lived here. I don't, no, I haven't. That's crazy, I haven't had a Chinese in three months. I feel like that was really good. Um, that means I haven't had any takeaway. I haven't had one takeaway when I've been here. Anyway, besides the point, I'm having Chinese. Um, oh, the camera's. I'm having Chinese tonight um, and I literally got it from like next door to my house um, and I was like oh would you mind just be like popping next door and like delivering it to me she's like no you need to come back it's literally 20 steps like why couldn't she have just come to the door I don't understand anyway um so I'm having that I'm having duck and some egg fried rice and I'm really excited I'm living the best life I was either gonna get Chinese or I was gonna get like Turkish like Greek takeaway like a kebab kind of thing because it's a really really nice one near me um that loads of people go on about and one of my colleagues was saying how nice it is um she lives like in the same kind of area to me um but yeah i went for the chinese instead um but yeah i'm really looking forward to it the reason why i'm having takeaway by the way is i've literally got no food in oh shit i need to oh no i don't that's tomorrow sorry <laughs> I need to do an Amazon Prime now order of food. I do my shopping on Amazon Prime now. I think I've spoken about it before. Um, in this vlog, I think maybe I spoke about it yesterday. But I do my shopping on Amazon Prime now. Um, and I haven't had it, I haven't got any food in because I went to Manchester in the middle of the week, so I didn't I didn't actually do a food shop this week. I just kind of had did what like used what I had already. Um, so that's what I kind of explained yesterday. Um, and I was gonna do one tonight and get the food for tonight. Um, but I kind of wanted to like Bradley's opinion on what we both want for the weekend. Um, um, so I thought I'd just do it tomorrow morning when uh, we're both here or this evening in order for tomorrow. Um, so anyway, that's why I'm having Chinese. That was the longest explanation I've ever done on why I'm having Chinese. What time is it? It's 21 minutes past. I think I went about 7 o'clock. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes and then I'm going to go and get my Chinese because I'm so excited for this Chinese. And I've also got myself a glass of wine, which I feel like is really sad when I'm by myself. Um, I never really drink um, when I'm by myself. I don't know, so maybe sometimes, maybe like a cider or something, but not wine. But like, it's Friday night. I need some wine in my life, and I'm not waiting till Bradley gets here at nine o'clock to have wine and have my Chinese. So I'm having it now. Um, but I'm currently watching like EastEnders or Coronation Street. I can never tell the difference. Um, but I'm going to change the channel in a second and put something on I want to watch. And yeah, it's Friday. I'm so happy. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. I'm so excited. So I've got my Chinese and I'm watching Gossip Girl. Here's my egg fried rice, my duck. These, oh god, these which I never even eat, but I've put them on anyway just in case. Pancakes, sauce, and prawn crackers, which I never eat either. And my wine. I'm living the best life. Here's Gossip Girl. Bradley are just making um, a chicken pie for lunch. 
Oh, How could you afford it? So me and Bradley just making a chicken pie for lunch. I'm vlogging on my phone because my camera is out of battery. Um, I did try and film while we were in Tesco, but uh, it went out of battery. Um, we've been to B&M today and Tesco. We went to Tesco to buy some ingredients for this and Bradley did some weekly shopping. Um, but yeah, we went to b and I'll show you what I got from B&M in a bit um, later this evening. But just wanted to say hi. Today we're making chicken pie, the one off of BBC Good Food. Um, I've got loads of chicken in here at the moment because we're making like two portions each so we can both like take one for the week and have it one week night this week uh, which is quite good um, but yeah just wanted to catch up and say hi this is our finished pie it looks really great I've got some coke and this is obvious Hi everyone, so I've got you balanced on top of my kitchen roll holder, <laughs> I'm really practical, I'm in my dressing gown, Bradley's just left and I hate it when he leaves, please ignore my, my lips, they're so dry, so like my lipstick's just like smudged everywhere, um, but literally they're so dry and flaky, I'm gonna like put, and my like skin is really dry as well, I think I'm gonna put a face mask on, like a really moisturising one later. Um, and it's, my skin's been fine over the like, past couple of days it's just gone like crazy um, and then I'm going to like put loads of moisturiser on my lips but it's 20 to 6 and Bradley left about 10 minutes ago um, I hate it when he leaves it's horrible but it's nice the fact that I feel so comfortable here that I'm happy to be here like he leaves and I don't dread the week do you know what I mean like I know I've got like a really nice job to be in and I know I've got an exciting week at work and I know that I love my flat and I feel settled here and the same for him, I think. I think he's like he enjoys where he lives as well um, this year, which is really nice for when we both leave each other. It's not like horrific to go back to certain places, which it was last year for both of us. Um, so yeah, that's quite nice. Um, but I am sat here because number one, I want to update you on everything that's going on. and Nothing's really going on. I just want to update you on my life. And secondly, we went to B&M earlier and I was going to film around B&M, uh, not vlog, but just like show you bits and bobs, but my camera died. So that wasn't really an option. So I've got some bits that I got. I'm just going to show you. I've actually got a bra here, which obviously I did not get from B&M, um, but it's just on the side. Um, I need to have a little bit of a tidy. Everything's pretty tidy. Like over there is really tidy. I also got myself some flowers as well. Let me see if I can show you. Over there, can you see them? I got myself some flowers. Um, and yeah, I got those from Tesco, which was cute. Um, Bradley probably should have bought me the flowers, but I bought them myself. <laughs> Sophisticated woman. Anyway, I got some bits from B&M. Thought I'd show you what I got. Not really very exciting, it's mostly food. Um, but I went with Bradley, um, he wanted to get like some candles and some bits for his room because um, he's recently just moved into a new house um, with some people because he's going back to final year in uni um, so he's recently just moved into a new house, he wanted to get some bits and so we went. So the first thing I got were these Alpen Light Chocolate and Fudge um, bars. Um, they didn't look too bad for you. Um, I know these things normally can have like really, really high sugar, but say they're like really great. Um, but I thought they sounded quite nice. They're better than meat in a chocolate bar. And sometimes I just like to have stuff in my bag at work just in case I'm really hungry. I then did get some chocolate. I got some chocolate fingers. Yesterday, I don't know who's it, who it was, but on Insta Stories, which I'm getting a bit more convincing to insta stories like i keep posting everything on insta stories at the moment um so yeah i never thought i'd like sway from snapchat but i do like it anyway someone in their insta stories had chocolate fingers and i was like i want a chocolate finger so i picked these up 50 percent extra free i don't actually have the receipt for any of this so i don't know how much it cost i then got this absolutely huge it's literally as big as my head bottle of ketchup now i've got literally the tiniest bottle i'm gonna go and get it actually This is the bottle of ketchup I currently have. <laughs> um, I did have like a little, like a normal bottle. Then I picked this up somewhere, I can't remember because I ran out. So this is the difference. <laughs> this was only like £2.25 or something. And that is such a bargain. Like Bradley didn't think it was that great, but I thought that was such a bargain. So I got some ketchup. I only had this little one and it's pretty much nearly run out. So this is gonna last me quite a while. <laughs> So I've got some ketchup. My lips are really so dry. I'm so sad. Anyway, then I got some Heinz beans with sausages. These are my favourite. Um, I don't really like any other baked beans. Well, I don't. I don't want to say that. I don't really. I don't like any other baked beans unless they're Heinz. Bits not be like that. And the same with ketchup. Um, but I love the Heinz beans and sausages. Um, so I've got two of those. Then I have so many packet mixes. 
I refuse to buy these anywhere else. Well, not refuse, but I don't like to buy these anywhere else but B&M. Um, because they're just so, ex not expensive everywhere else, but for what they are, they're expensive everywhere else. In B&M, you can get them for like 30p. And everywhere else, like a pound. Um, so, I got a So Juicy Paprika Chicken, a So Tender Garlic Chicken, and another one of the same one. Now, these ones I use for chicken, quite obviously. And I use them for lunches um, at work. So, if I want to make a salad or a pasta salad either one of those really um well i was making salads a couple of weeks ago and i like don't like plain salad i don't really like salad as a whole so to make me eat it i like make the chicken in one of these like the night before and have it like for the week so i make it in one of these so it's like garlicky it tastes really nice um so i'll chop it all up and then pop it in the bag and then you just pop this in the oven uh, with the seasoning in the bag it's already in there and then it makes it like really juicy and like tender with the garlic like seasoning it's really nice um so i have got three of these because i use these quite often i didn't have any left i then got two um fajita packs I then got two fajita things um in medium i don't really know why i bought these i do really like fajitas but I don't really know why I picked these up, but I did. Then I got three chilli ones because I love chilli. <laughs> I used to hate chilli con carne. I literally used to hate it so much. Um, and I now I absolutely love it. I fell in love with it last year and I have it probably once a week um, here. So I ordered some mints on my weekly shop today. And um, yeah, so this is the chilli mix. Um, I... I really like this one as well. Um, it says mild, but I normally add the entire pack for only like half the amount of mints, which is like makes it quite like nice and spicy, but not too spicy. Anyway, I got some chili things. So that was like my main thing I wanted to go to be an for. Then I got some um, biscuits. These are like, they're called McVitie's Tasties. I thought these used to be foxes, but foxes probably do their own version. But they're like, I don't like jammy dodgers. So these are like biscuit with like jam. I hope you're not going to be able to see. These are like biscuit with jam and then sugar. But they're actual biscuit. They're not like jammy dodgers. I don't like jammy dodgers. They're like too thick. They're not, I haven't got enough crisp. It's such a British conversation about biscuits. Anyway, I got those. I also got some crackers, the Jacob's Cornish wafers. I then got 90 tea lights. <laughs> Now, this is what they look like. They're just tea lights, just plain ones. Um, my stepmom, Nikki, made me some really cute little like crocheted um, tea light jar things. Um, they're really lovely. I absolutely love them. And Bradley brought them up from home for me um, the weekend because she'd finished them. Um, but you put tea lights in them and tea lights obviously don't last very long. And I realised I actually haven't got any tea lights in this flat that I can just chuck into like candle holders. Um, so I got 90 though, one pound a bag, so one pound for 30. I just thought it's good to have them anyway, isn't it? And because they only have a burn time of three hours. So, like, if I put them on now, they're going to be gone by, like, nine o'clock. Um, so, anyway, I got 30 or 90 tea lights. I just thought, I can keep them in a drawer. Bradley thought I was absolutely crazy for getting 90, but, yeah. And I also got some tuna, but that is currently in the cupboard, and I can't be able to get it out. But it was, like, £3, 2 99 for four things of tuna, which if you eat tuna, you know that's really good value because it's really expensive. Anyway, that's all of the stuff I got from B&M. I just wanted to show you what I got, especially because I feel like this vlog is quite short. I'm gonna edit it this evening um, because I haven't really got too much to do this evening. I'm just gonna chill um, and I'm gonna have quite an early night just to make sure I'm ready for tomorrow. I've got a busy week at work. Um, work is always, always busy. But we have got an event on this week as well, um, which should be really, really cool. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to put some of that in the vlog actually. Um, and then on Wednesday, my dad's coming up to meet me for dinner, I think. And then on Tuesday, my friend Christina, you will all know who she is because I mention her all the time. Um, she's meeting me for lunch at work on Tuesday. Dad's coming on Wednesday. I've got the event. So, yeah, this week should be quite nice, really. Um, every week's quite nice, to be honest. I never really have a bad week, um, which is really lovely. But, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Anyway, I don't really know why I want to update you, but I feel like this week I haven't really explained much. I've just kind of like gone about my life. Um, but I just want to say hi. <laughs> I'm back vlogging. I feel like saying this at the end of the weekly vlog is a bit of a weird one. Um, I'm going to try and get in a schedule with YouTube now. Um, I'm going to try and start filming videos a bit more regularly. Um, and I am going to definitely get back into vlogging now. Now I've done this week, um, I've found it quite easy to get back into it. So I think I'm going to try and continue to vlog now. Um, I don't know when this will be up. I don't know whether I'll put it up for tomorrow night. Well, I'm not going to put it up for tonight now, so it probably will be Monday night. Um, 
Um, but I will let you guys know on Twitter. Obviously, you'd already have watched this. Um, but I'm not going to put it up. That was a really stupid thing to say. I'm not going to put it up this evening now, am I? It's already like 6 o'clock. So I am now going to pop all the stuff that away that I got from b and I'm also going to put something on the TV because it's really quiet in here. Um, oh, well, we were watching Outnumbered. But it's turned off because it was like, are you, are you still watching? <laughs> um, what, like it does when you've been watching for way too long. Um, my my Brothers pie was so nice though. It was so good. It was the BBC Good Food one. It was just like the chicken and leek pie but oh my god it was amazing and we made like more than enough um so we've both taken like a portion back with each other well i've obviously got mine here but um which is really nice we've got it for the week anyway i'm gonna go now and end this weekly vlog um because i need to edit it <laughs> and i'm gonna do that this evening while i'm chilling um and i will start the next weekly vlog tomorrow morning i think um but yeah it's just trying to get back in the swing of things and all that kind of stuff so anyway thank you guys so much for watching i really hope this has been slightly interesting um it's been difficult trying to get back into the swing of it but um i hope it's been okay let me know any constructive criticism if you want me to change anything about the vlogs or you want me to get them how they are um just let me know and yeah i guess i will speak to you next time bye